Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I don't believe you're doing good, I don't believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of GBP USD and what to expect from the market this week. In case you're just coming across our videos, in case you're just coming across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Before we get into the business of this video, I want to say big congratulations to those who were able to take the trade based on our last analysis of GBPUSD. When we did that analysis, the market was here. I remember this um, bearish Arami here, and we did say that the market will be going bearish, and this is going to be our target. And as you can see, the market went bearish from the open of last week till um the close and our tp was attained so this was monday this was tuesday it bought a bit and sold ended as a shooting star wednesday was the news on um, gbp um gbp cpi was released on wednesday morning i think 7 a.m and there was a huge sell which is sold down here later and they bought a bit then thursday sold again on friday it closed on this region which we set as our cp for last week so if you were able to get in on that trade on say big congratulations to you for sure you must have made some good amount of bucks now let's start the analysis on the monthly time frame on the monthly time frame okay, let me take off this um horizontal line On the monthly time frame, so since our TP has been attained, uh, we don't have need of that line, at least for now. So on the monthly time frame, we can see that the market has been buying consistently for a while now, for a couple of months, and it ranged here a bit and continued buying, bought here, so the bit and bought. So this month is currently a bullish candle with a long upper week. Now. Three weeks has passed in this month and it's the fourth week that is about to begin. So we are not going to be conclusive about this candle that's on the monthly time frame because the time frame is yet to be completed. Now let's consider the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we can see the market has been buying consistently. <coughs> pardon me. And we can also see that it has been making a series of higher highs and higher lows especially from this region you can see higher high higher low higher high higher low although this low came about the same region with this but after that it got higher again and this is a higher low then <clears throat> i remember when this um candlestick pattern was formed here i said that it's about to make the next higher high which was here, we were expecting it to um, get to this red horizontal line, but it didn't. It stopped somewhere pretty close to the red horizontal line before um, that time frame ended, or that week ended. That was two weeks ago. And last week it sold, like we did say. Um, let's consider the daily time frame. So, like we did say, last uh, two weeks ended as a a bearish arami which gave sign for um a bearish move and we said that the market is about to make the next higher low and here it is so the market so to this region and of course like i said at the beginning of this video this is where we we're expecting it to get to now let's consider the four hours time frame on the four hours time frame you can also see the market bought quite significantly from here at this region it started selling and um, it sold down here and at this region we can see um the market has shown sign to buy even though it's not pretty clear of course the RS has gotten to the oversold region so we could start considering a buy then it made a bullish around me here and the last candlestick was a a small bearish candle more like a doji or you may want to call it a small shooting star 
but either way you want to look at it it's a small candle and before that was a should we call this a tweezer button okay let's call it a tweezer button so even though the bullish move is not clear here but we can see that there is bullish intention around this region so that's how the four hours time frame ended now what do we expect from the market this week that's what this video is about on the four hours time frame we can see the rsi has gotten to the oversold region and we say this time the market gets to the oversold region you start looking out for buying opportunities the daily time frame ended as a doji which is a sign of indecision and uncertainty so the bulls pushed the market down here and at this region um they couldn't push it any further and we could see that sorry the bears not the bulls the bears pushed the market down here and at this region we could see um they couldn't push it any further and it's more like around this region there are bulls waiting so um there was contention around that region then the weekly time frame ended as a bearish candle making this a tweezer top so like we did say in our last video of gbp usd that the market is is making an uptrend so it's making a series of higher highs and higher lows and um this was a higher high this is a higher low made the next higher high and we believe that it is this time around it is making um, the next higher low now we're also expecting that when it sells this week it's going to come in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the weekly time frame around um the region where it got to but as we can see it has not come in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the weekly time frame so based on the fact that four hours time frame as start showing sign of bullish move daily time frame ended as a doji and we did say that it's making a a higher low i believe okay this is what i'm expecting i believe that the market is going to buy from here but like i always say we're not going to take the trade immediately the market opens we're going to wait to see strong confirmations before we consider taking a trade first confirmation we want to see is that the um the four hours time frame end as a bullish candle and close above the 10 day simple moving average then we could consider a sell then for those who will like to be more careful you wait for the daily time frame to end that um monday should end as a bullish candle so once we see that occur then we are pretty sure that the market is going bullish and we expect it to attain this region should come back to this region which should be our tp1 and there's possibility that it will exceed that region but for now that is where we will target all right right here so this is going to be our target but if at the end of monday we see the market sell more that make end as a bearish candle maybe a shooting star or uh, and if an actual bearish candle then there's possibility that it could sell be it could sell down to this region but like i said i'm expecting it to buy from here i'm looking forward to a bullish move from here because of um, what i've explained before now so either way anyhow you choose to trade ensure you're seeing clear signs that support your the direction you're taking and ensure that you see every factors that support your trading strategy before you take a trade so that's what we're expecting from the market this week if you have a different opinion you can use the comment section if you have any question you can also use the comment section i'll be glad to have a conversation with you like we always say trading is a highly risky endeavor you don't want to venture into trading without proper knowledge if you know you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading you don't want to take this trade you can watch this video for educational purpose and it's going to serve you better than risking your heart and money in something you don't fully understand. If you want to get our Forex course, which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market, it has beginners to advanced lessons. It has 30 videos and 3 ebooks, including my book Trading Without Tears. Check the description of this video, you're going to see a link where you can get the Forex course. 
we also have an option where you can get the same course at 70 percent discount and but you ha only have access to the course for one month so if you can't afford to pay to have access to the course for lifetime you can you can take the 70 percent discount and have access to the course for one month within that period you should be able to um completely go through the course and you have the liberty to um, renew the subscription or cancel it but if you know that um, the content of the course is valuable enough and you would like to retain access to the course uh, especially for reference purpose then you can renew the subscription and you will always have access to the course so if you want to get the course at 70 percent discount you check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can get the course at 70 percent discount and if you want to subscribe for a signal service where we'll give proper entry stop loss and take profit check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can subscribe for our signal service and if you want to get my book trading without tears check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can get a soft copy if you want the hard copy send us a direct message to any of our social media handles you can find our social media handles in the description of this video tell us your location we'll tell you the cost of shipping it once your payment is confirmed you have the book delivered to you so that's it from us on this video i hope you got value see you in the next video bye for now